Hey guys, Hartronics here, back over at the land. Uh, just seeing if I could get some footage for you guys of uh, a couple of things. One is this uh, nice little sunset that's going to happen soon. Uh, and the other is to sort of talk about how exactly we're going about, or I'm going about, laying out or surveying this property. Because you can see that there's a lot of stakes and you know spray paint lines and stuff and I just wanted to sort of uh, show you what's going on a little bit so what we have here is this line that runs basically all the way down and we kind of just picked as a reference point um, this branch on this tree and we measured from the pavement to there and this goes all the way down the property and is staked over there at the other side. And this is our, or my reference line. I say our because I'm getting some help from relatives and stuff, but most of it is um, just me laying everything out. So this is 20 feet 6 inches off of the pavement on both ends. Um, and the pavement is fairly straight across here. So that's a pretty good reference point. It, this doesn't really need to be exact. It's more just uh, um, everything is relative to everything else sort of thing. So what we have from there is we can start marking out like the edges of the driveway, which we did before the town actually put in the sluice pipe, and start staking it out based on that. So you see like this string here runs up this way and there's a car going by and there's a, another one on the other side over here which we'll go over to and this one runs this way and now obviously <laughs> these are going to collide if they just kept going forever so this is just a taper to get the driveway down from 30 feet at the entrance to 16 feet at the the bulk of it, I guess you would say. So from here over to the line right there is 16 feet all the way up. And I actually wanted to come out and check the spray paint that it was still here because it rained last night. Um, but let's just follow this up and I'll show you what's going on here. So I am walking in the middle of the driveway and you can see there's string on this side and string over here and this goes up for a distance and you'll see there's these intermediate marks all over the place so what I was doing was actually using one of these things which let's see if I can get this out with one hand okay which is uh, basically like a laser laser measuring device and it does a few things, so like you can see, there's the laser. Um, I can get distance to any object, so like if I put it over on this tree here, I don't know if you can see that dot on there. Yeah, you can see it up on the branch up there. So I click this, and then I get distance measurement to there, and this will go for up to 160 feet or something like that. So, let's put this away. So then from there, I'm able to draw basically um, perpendicular lines from our reference line up. Um, and the way that I did that was by taking three of these wooden stakes that you see all over the place. And you can actually see this one up here. This one's got a sign on it. And what the signs were used for is I would lay out one where I thought perpendicular was and then I would put one on either side of it at uh, 5 or 10 feet out and then I would measure from a fixed distance away to see if I was equal if my my farthest left measurement and my farthest right measurement were equal I know that I'm in the center of whatever uh, reference point I'm based off of so it's a lot of <laughs> trigonometry type stuff but 
that's how I got straight lines here. And so this up here, we'll get to this um, top part of the 16 foot wide area. And then it expands out, a better example to show you on this side, expands out to a total width of 34 feet. And then from there, goes straight back. So this is the part where you would actually be parking on. And this would be the farthest point back of the driveway, which comes in just a couple of feet over here, four feet to be exact, before it hits the concrete pad, slab, whatever, for the garage. And the garage will sit in this area right here. Then, if I walk over this direction, towards the far end of the driveway and of the garage, string roll down there. I actually forgot that was out here. The house is going to go right in this area. So we can walk over there. And this is approximately, this stake right here is approximately where the back of the house will go. And we'll go towards this one over here. This one we actually marked out. It needs to be adjusted, but it was pretty close. What we did for this one, with a, I did with a little help, was... Because this one's kind of weird. They put these dirt piles here, which are eventually going to be used for like driveway stuff and whatever. Um, so we couldn't draw a straight line to the road. <laughs> so, what we did was, we picked a fixed distance away from the left side of that uh, reference line. And we came up, and then we went over, and that's how we did it. So in order to get our right angles there, we actually used a theodolite, a digital theodolite, and set it up over top of a point on the reference line, and then measured up 100 feet, and ended up with, uh, I think it was like this dot, something like around here. Uh, yeah, that would make sense, because then if I go straight over from that there's this post right there. So that's how we got that approximately. Now this is moving over back this way towards the camera a few feet, I think eight or nine feet um, from what we originally had. But yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be how it's laid out. This stake marks the back of our property line, sort of. I'll go walk around it real quick for you. Um, but it's a two acre plot, which is the minimum where we live. <laughs> so, okay, so there's our stakes. And so this goes down to somewhere uh, over here ish. And then it kind of slopes back, gets wider, and this is actually like the widest point. Um, and then it goes back. Um, so this is the stake here. And we're coming this way, back towards the neighboring property line, towards this lovely hay bale. Let me walk out here, see if I can find the last stake. Okay, I found it. <laughs> it's actually over here. You can see it right there, which is kind of across this little bit of <laughs> overgrowth, but you know, that's okay. I stepped in this big uh, pile of unbaled hay. So, okay, so we're back here. And there's the other property line there. And then down here is our dirt piles and where the house is going to go and stuff. So, yeah. That's all I got for you in this video. I just want to give you a high level on the... Uh, tactics I'm using to survey the land. So, as always, thank you for watching. See ya!